Rule number two of PW Happy Life School, if you really want to stay happy in your life, you have to really understand the rules of the homo aliens because you can't stay happy in your life if you're busy in thinking. You stay happy in your life only when you're busy in watching. Rule number two, never, never advise until asked. Never, never advise until asked. Why? The world is at the peak of miscommunication. The very language came in existence just in the last 50,000 years. Most of the advices which we are giving to the world is based upon what we have understood. Imagine for a moment that I am meeting you and you are meeting someone. Imagine that. Keep me away from it. Imagine that you are meeting someone else and you listen to that someone else and then you are eager to give advices. You are eager. But I must tell you, as a student of communication, I have been pursuing this skill for last almost seven to eight years now. And I have been traveling in Himalayas for almost six years, meeting people from so, so, so many countries. Because Himal Himalaya is hosting people from all over the world. And when I see them talking, I have seen the huge, very next level of miscommunication, especially in some countries. India is in that country. Why? You have to understand that most of the countries, they are country because of one language, one religion, one money. Of course, we have one money, but money came in existence just a few thousand years ago. Very recent. Even though money, out of the seven elements of PW Happy Life School, which are the key elements, money is the element because we are the only animal who are going and buying the food we are not searching the food the food which i have in my bag the fruits and the vegetables i have in my bag i bought it i didn't search it of course i'm in the process of searching the food homo aliens has to do that it should not happen that the very basic source of energy which you need every day you are dependent on money the self-sustainability has to be there and homo aliens understand this but, however, keeping that aside and come to the point, whatever advices you are giving to the people is based upon what you have understood from that conversation, which is a language-based conversation, which ideally we do not need. No animals are talking with the help of languages. The very language came in existence for the convenience purpose, for sharing the information. Imagine, uh, just 50,000 years ago, where we were living in the stones like this, or maybe something like this, and if I'm the hunter, I'm going, and I see the hunt, but it's difficult for me to take that hunt on my shoulder. So I come back after maybe one night or one day, and then I say, oh my God, there is a hunt available. How do I inform them? So when the information came on the planet Earth, for the convenience purpose, we develop the languages to share that information no other animal has. No other animal has. Dogs can talk in the eyes, they are hungry, they are thirsty, they need physical attention. They can talk like any other animal and I think there is no need as a homo aliens, there is no need to challenge this that we are not animals, we eat similarly, we digest the food similarly, we breathe similarly, we have the similar ears. Come on, we cannot challenge that truth that we are specially created, suddenly came on the planet Earth the way we are. No, come on, come on, come on. If that truth is enough to make us happy, then that would have made us happy a million years ago. A million years ago. That is not helping. You know what I am. So I'm completely on physics. I'm completely on watching. And when I see people especially homo sapiens, advising to each other. And I'm critically observing as a student of communication, just listening to them very carefully. And I say sometimes, oh my God, the advice which you are offering to someone, unsolicited or not required, still you have a habit of giving advices because it has been told to you give advices. It has been told to you that when you give a nice advice to someone, uh, you gain some brownie points and you build some credibility and the plus and the rest of it. 
If you really want to advise someone, wait for the request. Wait for the demand. Wait for that one line that, hey, can you tell me? Can you suggest? Can you advise? Wait for it. Otherwise, I remember I was conducting, when I was a homo sapien, I was conducting a workshop for uh, doctors in Goa. And I said, oh my God, I was sitting with them in that gala dinner before the workshop. I was doing a storytelling workshop for them. And I was sitting with them and I was critically observing as a student of communication. And just like if you're a student of singing, and if someone is singing, you will, what? You will listen to the singing. If I'm a student of communication, if someone is speaking, I will listen to the words. What else? Right? So, I've observed that this is the pattern of speaking, especially in some countries, including India. That we always try to advise and we always try to say something which will make us superior. We always try to advise because the very advice means you are superior. I am suggesting you to do this and do that. The very saying that is it means I can guide you, I can, I can suggest you. Not required because world is at the peak of miscommunication. Maybe you are advising someone on something which is absolutely not required. And because in the culture we do not insult them, we not say, don't, don't talk to me, don't say this. And homo sapiens, homo aliens will say namaskar, not required. That's homo aliens. Whatever, yeah. yeah. So the rule number two of PW Happy Life School is never advise. Never, never. Until asked.